Greetings, beloved. Welcome back to another episode of the Crocheting in Agreement podcast. It's been forever. <laughs> uh, my name is Melissa, and I crochet and knit prayer blankets for the sick, and I stand in agreement for their complete healing through Jesus Christ. This channel is by Him, for Him, and because of Him. And also because of him, I am now, uh, I have an Etsy shop he led me to do. And um, I have quite a testimony about that as far as my latest um, adventure that I'm taking. Where I am dyeing different yarns, either inspired by or designed by various YouTubers. So, um, if you haven't already, go over to my Etsy shop and check them out. Uh, we have some really creative YouTubers out there. So, uh, it's, it's, it's really, it's really pretty. And I have reasonable prices as well. But this is actually, I just decided last second to do this. Um, and I haven't done my intro yet. So, let me pause for that intro and I'll be right back. Okay, so how do I usually do this? Today is Friday, uh, January 14th, 2022. And I have no idea what episode this is. I have to go back to probably a year ago or something. Lord only knows how long it's been. But I just decided I, I've got like at least an hour to myself. Quiet, hopefully. <laughs> so I thought, a lot's going on. Let's, let's just, let's just spur the moment. Let's just throw on some makeup real quick. And I didn't even really, I don't have my usual background. In fact, I'm thinking about redoing my usual background because there are some really old cakes over there. <laughs> okay, but um, my name is Melissa and I am in the Northern Shenandoah Valley. I've been crocheting since I was 10. I started knitting about three years ago. Um, well, I started trying. It, it didn't really click until about a year ago. Uh, just trying to recap because it's been forever since I've done a video. And this is just going to be a regular video. Um, no yarn dyeing in this one. However, however, um, I guess you could call this a resolution, New Year's resolution or whatever. To me, I don't think you really have to wait till the New Year to make a resolution. But I have considered uh, potentially... I really need to do this. It's, it's, yeah. But I have considered starting to do live dyes. <laughs> it sounds funny. I like the way it sounds though. D-Y-E, of course, not D-I-E. <laughs> but live dye sessions, kind of like uh, Rebecca at Chemnitz does. Um, just to show you, just, well, actually, mostly for Q&A type stuff. Uh, if I can, I will try to get my daughter to help me out, but that's, um, if I do decide to do that, I will figure out what day, what time based on the other YouTubers, um, schedule, but there's always something I'm dying or need to die. And that's D Y E. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I get a lot of questions. Um, and I'm sure there's more. So this, it would, I think it would be fun to be able to interact while I'm dyeing yarn. Because a lot of times I think of things to say to you guys when I'm not even trying to think of something. So it's like if I'm dyeing yarn, I think, oh, I need to tell them about blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, various things like that. And I don't think about it when I'm sitting here. And I have no notes zero notes whatsoever I did not I just like I said spur the moment throw some makeup on do a video I haven't even changed into a nice shirt I don't even want you to see because this is a stained shirt that is for dyeing which I'm getting ready to uh work on as soon as this is done uh, but yeah I wanted to share with you guys um well I've made a few things I um actually everything I made was 
not everything, but it was around Christmas time, some was Christmas gifts. But I thought I would share with you guys something that I've actually been making. I've actually not just been making yarn pretty, but making pretty stuff with pretty yarn. Um, so I'm going to stop the video. And something else I didn't do is normally I pile everything around me that I want to show and I just reach for it. No, I just, no. I, I'm just going to stop the video. I'll go get what I need and I'll come back and then I'll take it back. Because when I get done making a video, sometimes it is a big mess. So I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so this was a Christmas present for my daughter. She had asked me um, a couple months before Christmas. She had found a uh, cro two crochet patterns for characters from the Final Fantasy VII game. She likes her favorite is Sephiroth, but she also found the Cloud pattern as well and this is by uh, Kiwi Crochets on Etsy. This is a paid pattern but this is uh, what I made for her. I still have the cloud pattern which I haven't made which I will make but let me she's it's it's been played with ever since Christmas so she got this for Christmas but here is my very first Amakarumi this is kind of a little bit, sorry, hold it up a little better so you can see. This is Sephiroth. He's the bad guy. And it says on there not to crochet the hair too tight or this will happen. But actually that's kind of how the picture is as well. And she likes it that way. I told her that I could block it and make it straight. She was like, no, I like his hair flowing. But, and then the bangs. I love how the bangs go. That hangs there. That hangs there. And the details, the little crisscross on the chest, and the little belt buckle. Yeah, he's a cute little guy. She loves him. That's all that matters. But this is Sephiroth. And another pattern that I did. Now let me find. Now this, I had a friend from school send me a message one day. And she's like, can you make this? <laughs> This is by the Twisted Hatter on Etsy, which is also a paid, paid pattern. And this is the cover picture for that. And this is called the Pigtail, um, Kawaii Pigtail Hat. And it's really cute. It's adorable. But this was um, something someone had asked me to make. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't seem so hard. So I made one of those and I will, ins I don't have it. So I'm going to have to show you the picture and I'll put, I'll put the picture right here. You can look at that while I talk. Um, so, and then while I am making this hat, I'm up at my grandma's working on it and she has company that day and it's like several of her cousins and one of their daughters. And the daughter, she's probably about my age, fell in love with this hat and she was like, I bet you my cousin, it's another cousin, would love a hat like this. So she asked me if I could make her one to give to her. So I will put that picture right here of that one. So as you can see, this was um, different colors than, well, the first one that I showed was very similar to the picture on the Twisted Hatter's Etsy page. But this one here is a teal and gray, which I actually kind of like that one a little bit better. It's more my colors. You know, I'm not all the flashy, flashy colors like that, but I love, I'm beginning to have a love for green, especially this shade, like a teal, or some people call teal. I don't know. I really don't know what to think of teal anymore. <laughs> when I was doing a Patriot's colorway, she was like, I want teal and purple and gray. I'm like, okay, what shade of teal? This shade or normally when I grew up, I think my Crayola crayons showed it as a bolder green. <laughs> but some people consider this as teal. So to each their own. Um, and okay, so after I made those two hats, my daughter wanted me to make her a hat, but she said, I don't want curls I want pigtails braided pigtails and she is a big 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 
anime, um, specifically girls, um, magical girls, she calls them. And she is, well, she's into Genshin Impact a lot right now, but she also loves Pretty Cure and the American version is Glitter Force. So she sent to both of those. So she asked me if I could make a hat based off of her favorite character. I don't really want to put it on, but um, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put it on. I can show you better if I don't. Her favorite character is Cosmo and she has the cosplay costume of Cosmo. Um, she even got boots for Christmas to match. I think matches her boots. So now her outfit is complete with, complete with little cat ears. That one's a little bit wider, but it's okay. She loves it. And the braided pigtails, which this is the hair tie that goes on the end, like a triangle shape. Um, but this is her Cure Cosmo hat. And it's made the same yeah, you know, this part here is made the same as the Twisted Hatters hats. Um, the two with the kawaii pigtails. It's made the same as that, but of course there's pigtails, which I was much happier to do because that's probably, that's the the hardest part of the whole, the most time consuming. It's not really hard at all. It's very easy. Um, and I will put the link below to both of these um, Etsy shops, Kiwi Crochets and Twisted Hatter. Twisted Hatter's got a lot of really unique, unique uh, hats. In fact, the, the very first girl that um, asked me about the kawaii pigtail hat asked me if I could do the Twisted Toadstool. So that is what I'm working on right now. In fact, let me just, let me just go get it and show you what I have done so far. So I guess you could say those were my FOs and <laughs> here's my whips or one of my whips. And she's having hers done. Um, Twisted Hatter uses ombre, the um, red heart ombre for this. And I love it's 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 starting to change color. I was so scared because let me I mean, I'll show you that again here in just a second. But she holds together too. And I ordered these because my Walmart did not have this colorway. Which one is it? Coco. They did not have this colorway. So I had to order it online. And of course I was very nervous ordering it online because you don't always get the same um, skein wrap. You know, the way it's the way it's rolled up, skeined up, you don't always get them to match. But I couldn't have, I probably couldn't have done a better job than, uh, who did I get it from? I got it from Walmart. I couldn't have done a better job than what they did. This is perfect. They matched up just perfect. In fact, they are starting to change at the same time. I do not see any variations unless I'm just blind. But yeah, it really shows up good on here. But yes, this is a really funky hat. It's like, it's literally twisted. <laughs> ignore the end but it's really really cool look at it, it, what I really love about this pattern too it's got a lot of details to it let me find that picture again a lot of details it's got like these neat I'm oh, sorry one feature I really like is like this ruffling going around through here on, on my hat, that'll be in a beige color, off-white. And then it's got little dots, little appliques, and then little stuffed mushrooms placed at various places on there. And, of course, it's a really big brim. Hopefully, some of the reviews said they had trouble getting it to stay up. I'm hoping that um, holding it together and a good tension will keep it nice and stiff. But... That's what I am currently working on. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, I get to count. Yay. <laughs> so I can't do this at any old time of the day. I, I, I'm I making it a point now to do it at nighttime. I feel bad because she ordered it. Mm. Uh, 
I don't know, end of October, beginning of November, mid-November, I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while since she asked me for it, and I feel bad that I'm still working on it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get my budding gear and work on it some more. Um, so I thought I would also share with you guys, um, I think I'm only going to share the crafty, crafty acquisition, acquisitions that I got for Christmas. Um, I hope I don't really leave anything out, but I wish I could show you everything, but yeah, I don't want to bore you. <laughs> okay, so let me go get, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm sure I'll end up leaving something out. <laughs> I've actually, it's one item I can't find. <sighs> Drinking clay, by the way. <laughs> something different. Um, okay, so the hook that I'm using for the twisted hat, the twisted toadstool hat, is a new hook. I'm a, I'm a big Susan Bates fan. So my husband got me H and an I. Yes. An H and an I. I've been wanting to try these lighter handled Susan Bates hooks. Silver Loom, I think it's called. It's called. But he got me those, which has been on my list for a while. Um, this has been on my list for a while too, and it is this case with, I think there might be one, no it ain't, I was going to say I think there might be one missing because I was using it, I was trying it out, but you've probably seen these on Amazon before. Um, bamboo, these over here are all bamboo, these are bamboo handles, um, but these over here are from it's one millimeter, 1.25 millimeter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters on this side. And this one has everything from tiny, 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 uh, one point, maybe it picks up or no, actually, I, I'll put it on the screen. I'll have to get my magnifying glass. Well, it goes up to that one. I should be able to read. Oh, there it is. Had to find it. 10 millimeter. Up to a 10. I'm an alphabet. I'm a letter person. I need to learn. I, I think my two favorites are the five and five and a half. H and I are my two favorites. And I need to learn all of the millimeter parts of it too. <laughs> um, two neck lights. <laughs> he says he doesn't know how he wound up with two, but I needed them really bad. And I like this particular one. I mean, they all have the three settings, but I like how, first of all, it's got this adjustment right here. Like, if it's not very comfortable or you just simply you want it a little bit snugger, you want it to be less, you know, this actually is handy little feature where you don't actually have it hanging on your neck. Um, I'm probably sure it has other functions, but that's what I'm thinking it's for. But, and I love, these arms are really stiff too. They'll, oops, they'll uh, go wherever you want them to go. <laughs> so yay, two. One could be on charge, the other one be using, and I'll always have one charge, right? <laughs> okay, so um, this is something I recently found on Amazon, put it on my list, and it is a storage tote for all of my beads and findings. Um, I also make stitch markers, so I collect beads and findings as well. In fact, I have a decent size AliExpress package over here to open as soon as I'm done with this video. Uh, oh, don't fall, please. Uh, yeah, I think that, oh, oh, I also got one of those boy loom pens. It came in after Christmas. It's over there somewhere. <laughs> 
in my need to clean up area. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you all know what that's like. It's, it's, it's a wreck. That's also why I'm recording over here. I figured my happy die up there is a good thing for, to look at as well, even though you can't see it all. my guys and over there there that shelf there is all of my beads and findings and stuff like that plus I have some below it there's that little tote right there came from um, AliExpress not a Christmas present but it's it's nice and I actually have some I ordered off of Amazon recently that have really small compartments I don't like it when they're removable. Most of them I see the compartments. This one, I don't you know. This one's not. But this white one I showed, those compartments are removable. And I don't like those because beads and, and findings can slip up underneath. So I got, pardon, I got a four pack of these. Four of these. And each of those has 24 compartments and they do not come out. So I've got a lot of beads coming from AliExpress. The ones I just got in are more of what I have in this Claire one, this, the new one I got for Christmas, but I've got some coming in that I don't already have. So that means I'll be getting some more cool. I got some really awesome ideas for stitch markers. So. Be sure to watch my Etsy shop for those as well. I think that is pretty much it. Uh, I have no idea how long because I've stopped the video a couple times. But just this one here is six minutes. So it's probably a pretty lengthy one. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I'll let you know more when I find out about the live dies. I think that will be a really fun thing to do. I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen because I need to have some sort of consistency with this channel and I get a lot of questions about the dyeing process or people just like watching it so I think it would be really really awesome to be able to do live dyes and be able to take your guys questions and let you come along with me <laughs> watch the process as it happens <laughs> all right well, I hope that everyone has a wonderful, blessed, safe, and healthy weekend. And thank you for watching. And God bless you all. Goodbye.